Hey guys, how are you? This is Vic, and I want to shoot a quick video, see if I can do this in 12 to 15 minutes, about this new landing page I just created. I'm going to show you how I created an A-B test for it, and in addition to that, how you can use the same software I did to get a 61.2% opt-in rate. Okay, and I'll show you how that is. Now, let me show you another cool thing about it. You know, a lot of times people land on a landing page, and they may say, ah, okay, let me just get out. So I'll show you how this here has an exit pop. If you follow my mouse as I go to leave, it says, oh, wait, I want to show you and then how you can easily earn. I kind of give a little bit more about um, uh, the landing page. Now, I talked about Discover My to over 10000 per month. So this is still congruent because what I'm talking about is that how they can easily earn $3,000 this month, which is done over and over and over again for a lot of newbies. So it wouldn't be... Um, so it's still congruent with what we're doing here on the original page. And so important to be congruent from your landing pages to your opt-in to your um, uh, to, to your welcome uh, email and all that. So, so now at this point, they could either put in their email address now to get started. The guys say, well, let me just go back to this page. I'll X out and then they'll be able to put their email address here in step one. And it's sort of like a, a, a step along. And people like little baby steps because the opt-in rate is typically higher. And um, you know, this is sort of an idea from the three-step opt-in, okay, where they, where'd you hear about us from Facebook or YouTube or other. And then the next page is email and the next page is send me the video. Here I just eliminated one of them. This is all with the Kalatu uh, blog. So now let's go ahead and look. So we've had, uh, the campaign is still running. So I've had 279 plus 27, that's what, uh, 306. So that's uh, 306 opt-ins. Okay, now let's go look at the traffic. So this is, uh, uh, this is not including September 8th or September. This is when I was testing it. That's why there's only like five to 10 opt-ins. That's me testing it. So here we are, September 9th, which was yesterday. To, um, so that's about 100, so it's about 400. And here we are here, September 10th is just under 50. So I'm gonna say it's about 500 uh, page views that we had here. So we're gonna go on over to the calculator and say 500. No, 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 what you wanna do is, uh, that's wrong. Where's the clear button? Oh, here it is. So we said we had 306 opt-ins and divided by 500 page views equals 61 and then you got to multiply it by 100 and this is going to give you the percentage which is 61.2 percent opt-in rate from this landing page now i'm going to show you also i have variation in there that i'm doing split testing so this is the software that i used to create it there's a bunch of different opt-ins and and sales pages that i created and it's gonna, and also I, was cre I created a sales page with it too. Let's go on over to the sales page. So once they opt in, uh, it brings them over to this sales page about 70% of the time. And then I also have another page that I'm testing also. But this here was also created with the, um, uh, with the same software, okay? And then they're able to click in and then to sign up uh, with it and you can actually change the background and it's all that good stuff. So let's pop on over here Let's look at the sales page. So this is the list of the pages that I've created now I'll go over here This I can either edit it change the permalink look at the stats or more actions. We're gonna do an edit on it Okay And once we do an edit on it, uh, we're gonna be able to Show you the two variations I have on it okay so very simple to create so this is variation a and then i switch back and forth i think i'm doing a 70 30 or 70 percent this one here and 30 percent on variation b which is and this is very congruent with the exit pop-up because it's showing hey how would you like to have your first three thousand dollars a month online again it's a two-step opt-in okay and then i could look at the uh, split test settings and oh, I'm doing 80% variation a 20% variation B so it's giving me the uh, um, the, the $10,000 page 80% of the time where I'm only getting this 20% of the time because I've already tested it and then the other page is um, opting in better so I may eliminate this totally now here's so let's see if we can go ahead and create 
you know what, let's, we can either start from scratch or I'm going to create a new variation. And I could either use a template that I have, copy one of these pages exactly, or just start from new. So I could create from scratch here. So let's go to create new. And then it pops up here. So what we're going to do is we just need to go ahead and, and start it off here. So we'll bring in the text section here. So title element, okay? So we'll bring that in. This is your new title. Um, so I've already got it pulled in in Word uh, format here. I mean, in, uh, in Notepad. So this is for variation A. So I just copy this here. I've got it copied already. So you don't have to wait. Kind of bring it on over here. Click the pencil here to edit it and take this stuff out i'm gonna paste it in between that so it keeps that large font for me just kind of like cheating you know all right so now let's take this out and then what we're going to do is we're going to center it we're going to make this red okay this is how fast this is how fast you can uh create this okay so we'll make this red and and we'll make this red also all right and we want to go ahead and make this a little thinner because i like to make it mobile friendly because i found that 70 percent of my traffic comes from mobile and now i kind of cheated a little bit and you could kind of follow and cheat the same way that i did so i'm going to take this image element and i'm going to bring it over here okay now i'll show you how i cheated so whenever you click on a box that you're editing it's going to bring up something so now we're going to click on this gear here this gear is edit configurations and what we're going to do is action is uh, upload image okay and I've already got my media file library kind of populated with a lot of stuff okay and this is what I mean I cheated I took I made an image of the two-step um, image that I wanted you see, is that pretty cool or what? So it's already in there, you know. Uh, it just kind of makes it simpler. And now uh, we're going to click outside of that, kind of come down over here. And what I want to do is I want to bring in an opt-in box. Uh, tab, navigation, HTML questions, spacer. Where's the opt-in box? Opt-in form. So we'll bring that over here okay and we want to click over here and again click on the gear and opt in html so i've got my html i'm going to bring that in later i won't do it in this video here that'll be a separate video on how to do that opt in form fields i'm going to take out um manage fields and what we're going to do is we're going to name i'm going to delete name and then opt in email email address and i'm going to change this enter if I could spell right enter your best email power of suggestion and icon you know what let's put an icon in there at the right mail icon okay it's pretty cool bam so you see name went away and that now this button is ugly here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna that's your friend and opt-in form fields opt-in form button so right now i can either do a css button or i'm going to do an image button and again action and i'm going to upload image and it's going to go straight over to my media that i've already got uploaded here and i'm going to say i could do access now yes let me in which is red so i pretty much know what mine look like here so i'm going to do let's do yellow i think i already used the red one get access now okay and i got a whole bunch of these buttons you could hit me up and I give them to you. So now, there we go. Get access now. And I want this a little wider. Okay. So it kind of pops out. And then down here, I could come in and look at, let's put in uh, some text down here. Text element. Put it right under there. Click the edit button. Let's take this out. We hate spam. Two, your email is never 
sold for share. Bam. Now let's go ahead and center this. That's just very small, not not in your face, just kind of there. They see that. And, um, you know, so what we'll do here is let's take um, this box and let's make it wider. Okay. And then what we can do here is we'll take this page and let's see. Let's widen that there. And then we could change the background color of this page here. Let's say if we want to change the background color. So we'll do edit here and we do background color and you know I don't like it too bold so I kind of keep it uh, and and again this your split testing will tell you what's the best um, to use on this here so kind of keep a little contrast between the two and then this background you can go to this uh, now if I want to change this this is considered the page background so now I'm going to click on this gear we're going to go to page settings. So you guys, it's so simple. This is so simple. Page SEO, page width, uh, background color. I could put in a, I could put in a video, background video. I can upload a YouTube video. Check this out. Let's go over to YouTube and I put in crazy skiing motivation video. So let's see the most amazing skiing video ever. So I, I, I'm not checking copyright now. I'm not going to publish it with the video because I don't like, um, to put video in the background of it. But if you had a sales page, you know, you might uh, want to go ahead and do that. Okay, now, so this video takes a few seconds to load, I see here. There you go. Copy. So let's go ahead and stop this. Let's go back on over here. And again, I, there's no reason to make this long. I'm just showing you how cool and how fast this is, okay? And now we're just going to. Uh, that's already, uh, we're going to click save, okay? And now that's the background video of, instead of picking a color for the background of my opt-in page, I got that crazy uh, skiing video. So when someone goes to uh, open it, so let's go ahead and do a visit page. Oh, actually not visit page. Let's go ahead and we go right here to view page. See that eyeball preview page. So click on that. And... There it goes. It starts with the uh, with the GoPro, uh, but it, it has the video going in the background, and you're able to set the. Um, again, I don't like it because it's too distracting. But that's the power of this actual um, software. So instead, and again, I could mute video, loop video, display video control. So I would probably keep the default options. But instead of doing a background video, let's do background color. I could even do background image if I want to do like a beach page or something, you know, or uh, or just a, a standard background color. Like um, red happens to be a very high opt-in page I've had a lot of success with. So I'll just kind of click on save there too. So that's the software. That's how fast it is to create it. The sales page is almost just as simple. At the same time, I could even put in a countdown timer here. So if you want, uh, right above here, there was a... Um, Today's date, there is a countdown timer that you can put in. Don't make a liar out of me. Countdown. Let's put it in right over there. Okay. And, you know, you could set, again, you click on the box, you click on the gear, the gear is your friend, countdown setup, okay, exact date and time, 24-hour uh, format, and you know, I don't want to give it a full hour. I want to give it, they have 20, I'm going to give them 21 minutes to put in their, 20 minutes to put in their email address, okay? And click on save there. And then we'll go ahead and preview the, the page again. And you know, scarcity and, and, and time ending is a very powerful uh, way to get increased opt-ins. Okay, so the video was, I didn't take the video out. So, and actually the countdown time, it doesn't come up in a preview. You have to do it in the actual, you actually have to do it in the live uh, published page. It's not going to show up the countdown time, we're just in the preview. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of that. And again, I didn't remove the video for it, so it's still using, it's not using the, the red color. So, uh, but you see how powerful it is. It's, uh, it's very versatile. Now, if I want, I'm going to go into, 
uh, split test settings. Okay, now I've got variation C, B, and A. Now, you know what I'm doing here, guys? Right now, this campaign is still running, but I'm not worried about it because even though I added a variation C, I've not changed any of the set settings to A and B, so my campaign is still running as it wants. If I want right now, as soon as I, if I change this to 70 and I did give this a 10 or change it to 60 I do 60 20 and 20 because I, I want to stay with the higher one on variation a because it's I get the highest opt-ins from all the previous split testing I've done uh, so I want to keep that the highest but um, if I change this now it's immediately going to take effect on all of the new visits that I get from this point forward but I'm just running this campaign I don't want to do it right now but you see how simple it is but I do have this saved in the background I'm gonna leave it at zero and uh, and there we go so folks the Kalatu blog with the insta builder 2.0 you do not need any skills all you need how to do is point and drag over to it you know I can even pull in some questions you know do a survey uh, we have a webinar um, uh, set up too that we can do on this here that you could pre-record a webinar and then have people go ahead and opt in as if the webinar is happening and they pick the time that they want to attend the webinar and it's already a pre-recorded webinar but it feels gives that live feeling so this is a very 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 powerful uh, tool that we have here in the back office uh, including with the uh, the Kalatu cloud which is our autoresponder so right here in our back office we have a set a landing page builder you know just like lead pages or uh we're creating funnels here you see i create a sales page uh that gets um uh, directed from the landing page here so creating our own funnel so it's like lead pages but better it's like click funnels but better okay uh, in addition to that, it's got our own autoresponder. We've got options that Fusion doesn't even have in it right now within our autoresponder. High deliverability rate. And in addition to that, we've got the best training bar none in the online industry on all of the, uh, we've got a, in a circle, a top producer, team building, mass influence, next level mastermind. As there's a whole ton of actual uh, training here that you will not find anywhere so with that i hope that helps and i hope to see you on the next one check out my blog and my youtube channel and you'll see a lot more of my training there